Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the Coast of Making YouTube channel. I'm joking, that is not the intro. <laughs> it is, that is the intro. You've done it now. <laughs> so, welcome back, everybody. Um, today we have Cheryl in. I love it when Cheryl comes in because we can do amazing long nails because she has great nails. Like, uh, well, not so much this time because she might have put them in her mouth too many times uh, so they might be a bit of chewage but she has a good you look she's got a, what i'll say like a, a good canvas to work on definitely a good canvas this is the better one of the lot just saying <laughs> that's why we're doing the demo or tutorial on this nail and not the other one So, we're going to sculpt today. So, I'm just going to wipe over with a lint-free wipe. These lint-free wipes are from Navy Tools. And then we're going to use the clean-up solution. This is going to clean and also dehydrate. So, double whammy. We've already done prep. And when I say that, we have done... I say we, it's the royal we. <laughs> I have prepped it and all that yeah business. we didn't do very much did we we're going to use um the mystique nail system for this set so i'm going to use their bond booster which is a base gel we're going to apply it really thin to the nail that's been chewed the least <laughs> <laughs> yeah we're going to do gel nails on the gel queen so I feel under pressure. I feel under pressure. So what do what do most people have in your salon then? Uh, I mostly do gel infills to rebalance for every two or three weeks. Yeah. And uh, just a gel polish sometimes for a bit of glitter on. Yeah. Bit of nail art. Cheryl has quite a high hyponychium, so our forms have a little cut out here. So it's a perforated line. So it's there for you to follow. I'm going to cut that out and then we're just going to trim these wings. Let's see if we need to trim them wings a little. Yeah, a little bit more. I'm just going to trim them a bit more. So we just literally, let's get rid of that. We've cut those little triangles out so it fits perfectly fabulous open the form at the back we're doing a Russian almond shape forms gonna slightly kick up because we've opened the form at the back and we're going to a number 10 <laughs> number 10 didn't realize that did you do? did you hear the intake of breath there <laughs> But we've got room for file and all that. <laughs> Cheryl's face for Didn't everybody who can't see that. 10. Yeah, number 10. Startled deer in the headlights was Brave. the description. Brave soul. <laughs> Might be working till midnight, besides it is. <laughs> <laughs> and then we're going to use, this is the medium clear gel from uh, Mystique Nails. So they do like loads of gel and they kindly sent us like a bucket load of gel. Maybe not a bucket load, but a fair amount. So with this gel, we're going to create a base layer. So I'm just going to roll that off. I'm using the Brendette brush. We're going to make contact with that natural nail and just feather this up so we've got good contact. And I'm going to stretch down the product. At this point, I want to get these sides done. So I'm going to go nice and thin now over the full length all the way to 10. Straight out the side wall. 
and then we kind of kick up. So we're just brushing this shape in, first of all. And we're going to get a little bit more gel, not a lot, not a lot. And place that where the natural nail meets the form. And then I'm going to tickle this down, keep in contact, then we can come off and take the excess off the brush. And I'm just going to make sure we have a good amount of gel here so we have a good contact. And then that layer that we put on just will actually just start to disperse into the gel that we've already put there. And if you put me that in the lamp, this is a 20 second cure as well. Now I can pinch it a little bit with my fingers because it's so thin. And then we're going to take this form off. This will be super fragile. I don't think this is going to come off. Oh, we are. Didn't feel like it wanted to come off then. Oh, that was like surgery, that. Oh. <laughs> Everyone was like, nobody was breathing. <laughs> so it's very thin, as you mm -hmm. can see. And I think this end drops down a little bit too much, so I'm just going to use my scissors to take that little bit off. Look how thin it is. You can just cut a little bit off. Amazing. Right, so what we're going to do now is we're going to use the Fill and Form Glitter Cover. It's an acrylic gel. I'm going to scoop a decent amount out. And you can get this kind of product in a tube. Yeah, you can get them in tubes or you can get it in a pot like this. Just roll that off and there you are, there you have it, as you know. Now, it does, I do find that this aqua gel does move a little bit. It moves a bit more than other brands I've used. So we're going to use the clean up solution as our sort of slip solution so we can slip and slide over the top of it and we're going to bring a nail bed down nice high side wall so you need like a wall around this nail bed I'm leaving an empty part at the back so just turn your hand over for me and you will see it will slowly move down and it will draw down. So I'm going to use these little clips. These are from Nail Perfect. So as the client feels it warming, you can pop your little tool on, your little pinching tool, pop it into the lamp. Does that feel all right? Yeah. Fabulous. Ah, so you put that on and then put it back in the lamp? Yeah, yeah. and it can cure with a pinch. Oh. That's why they're clear. Yeah. Right. Yeah, clear dear. While that's pinching we're going to use the medium clear gel and we're going to use A&A glitter. This is in Nimbus Cloud Fluffy Clouds and it's an iridescent glitter. So I'm going to take my gel brush and I'm just going to add a tiny bit of that gel which is that medium clear. Then I've got another Brendette brush which I've made to go made it go really fluffy by dehydrating the hell out of it and it's quite fluffy and what that'll do is it'll pick up the particles of glitter. We're going to pop them at the back. Pop that in the lamp and with the same Acra gel I'm going to take like a pea size amount of that and I'm just going to spread that and I'm going to clean my brush and in the cleanup solution. Then use the cleanup solution as your slip solution again and sort of feather that over the glitter but not completely. Pop me that in and then we're going to take a pea size amount of the medium and we're going to encase that glitter inside. You notice when you press gel and you pull away 
it actually creates a really nice cuticle for you because it pulls some of the product away so you don't get a big lip. And you can just feather that over the after gel. Pop me that in the lamp. Then with the clean up solution, I'm going to take off the sticky layer and then we're going to file this smile line. I've got a 150 grit, I can say I've got a 150 grit smile line. That's not even a thing. <laughs> I've got a 150 grit file. It's a much rounder finish with gel, isn't it? Rounder, what do you like, mean? So when I've watched you do it with acrylic, like the same thing, you get a sharper you line. Get sharper line. Yes. Yeah. 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 With less to file. Imagine um, square cake. Yeah. And you put your icing on and it mm -hmm. wears. Yeah. Yeah. It yeah. Draws, it gives it's got it that fluidity to it mm -hmm. that it's you can't sort of make it be straight edge, can you? No. No. Yeah, you're right. But that helps when you do the cuticle. Did you get that yeah, round? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That round little bit. We're gonna take the secret weapon bit on a high speed with gentle pressure and you can actually neaten up your brick wall with that as well. So if you come in at both angles, so if you come in nice and flat like this. So I felt like it was still a little bit too chunky so it was going to take way too long with the hand file. Now I've just reversed the rotation of the file so I don't have to sort of come in at this angle and keep my hand in a comfortable place. Then I can come in with my hand file and perfect that. I'm just going to abrase this free edge. Don't forget it's really fragile. So I'm literally just doing a few abrasions so I know that my next step will stick to that shiny surface. Then we're going on with the Kirsty Making Base Coach. There's like a lot going on in this nail. It's it's um, hard gel, it's acrid gel, there's gel polish, there's glitter. Cure me that for 30 seconds. Right, then we're gonna use white out, which is our white. And you're gonna make sure this kicks right up on that wall, like the white clips are dover. Then I'm gonna take the Lily Liner brush Get a little bit of that gel on there and we can come right up into those ears and we can use the same brush just to feather that and that's absolutely fine, you won't see any of this. Pop me that in and then this is the fun bit. This is like the fun bit. Mm. What I'm going to do is we're going to use the, ex I was going to say extremely, extreme thick white gel. So we're going to take this gel, we're going to paint it on. You don't want it super thin, but again, you don't want it like, you know, super thick. So I'm confused here. Why, if you've done, why did you do white gel polish if you were going to go on with this? Because I want that really crisp around that edge. And if I use this, because it's so much thicker, uh -huh. it'd be a bit lumpy bumpy around the, uh, right, okay. around the smile line. It's all those little bits that make yeah. the difference to a nail. I've just cleaned that off, but then I need to just add a tiny bit of gel, just the clear gel, back into my brush to keep its shape. So I've cleaned the white off, but I've put a little bit of that medium back into it. It has a lid, I mean brushes without a lid and gel, not good. It's going to be cured, isn't it? Mm -hmm. I'm going to come back to a rock hard brush. So we've got this gel, what we're going to do now, this is so exciting. We've got some bubble wrap. So yeah, you normally sit there and just pop that, don't you? We're not doing that today. And I've cut this little kind of V 
doesn't need to be perfect it's going bubble side down so bubble side down onto this nail and give it a little bit of a squish technical term bit of a squish then we're going to use our portable flash lamp to secure that in place and then you can go into the lamp for a full cure and we're going to peel that off and look what you get isn't uh, that just right, that's very tidy. delish very tidy I'm just going to cut that bit off because it's a bit wide anything that's a bit too wide oh did that go in my hair yeah. yeah. Where? Do it far. Gone. Ah, okay. So then we, what we're going to do, actually, I like this bit, it's fun, it's a bit different. We're going to use um, their fill and form aqua gel in pastel blue. I think this is more like a Tiffany blue. Take a spatula, take a scoop, and then we're just going to press that into some of those creases. Just quite random. And pop me that in the lamp, and then believe it or not, we're going to use Dan. <laughs> oh, is it Dan? Yeah, going to use some Dan. And what's number 21? Is it Lucy? 21 is. Yes, yes Lucy. It is. Yeah, so we're going to use some Lucy because and some Lucy Dan. Works for me, she's 21. So we're going to add little splashes like this. And then a few. Lashes of Lucy. You'll notice I use the very tip of the brush to kind of like just jab it and get it into those little creases. Cure me that. And then I've got some, um, it's like rose gold copper leaf, isn't it? That. Um, these are the from Nail Can Me. They come with like a pack and you get like loads of different colours. We're going to use tweezers just to pull the pieces away. And everything's got like a sticky layer. So we can just pop little pieces on. It just adds another texture. Then we're going to go back to that medium clear gel. We want quite a big bead now. And we're going to encapsulate all of this. You want to go quite thin. And we're going to wipe over, take off that sticky layer. I'm going to cut that bit off. I'm going to use, I've got this big <laughs> um, dust extractor from um, Nail Gargar. Just let me just introduce him. Here he comes. <laughs> Here he comes. Go on, man. <laughs> as, as you can tell, we've already started to use things a little bit, don't we? Just because I'm going to file a lot. It is noisy, though. So... That's the noise of it on full. That's sort of on half. So we're going to use it on that just so you can hear what I'm saying. <laughs> but you've got to be quite close to it in all fairness. And we're going to file. And you're going to file through and start to hit those little wrinkles. So it was really fragile before, but it's a lot harder now because we've got that um, white gel on. We've got a bit of aqua gel on as well with the blue. So I've just wiped that just so I can check that we've got this little craziness happening. I don't even know what you would call it. 
You said it's a bit like camo, didn't you? Barbie camo. Barbie camo. Right, so we're going to now let's turn it in off. Back in with the clear. Hmm? He's landed. <laughs> <laughs> so just just a quick one on the uh, on the the very noisy elephant thing that you've got there. Yeah. Is it all right? Is it what's it? Um, I think it's too noisy. Yeah. Completely Good. honest, I think it's too noisy. It's definitely too noisy for us in a studio. But how would it be in a salon, Cheryl? Yeah, it's noisy. Noisy. You're to so you give out earplugs yeah. as. So we're going to encapsulate this now and build structure with. The medium clear. Hey, the hotel I stayed in in Iceland had earplugs on the on the pillows. Did it Cause, really? Yeah, because it was under the flight path of the domestic airport. Um, there was a really loud restaurant downstairs, downstairs, and the floors were wooden, and you could hear everything that was going on upstairs. Oh, where the loud. Complimentary earplugs. <laughs> Pop it in. So I put a log down the middle and I'm going to bring it up to sides. Sounds so elegant, a log down the middle. Oh, a log. <laughs> oh, I'll call it a sausage. A, a sausage. Sausage, yeah. sausage logs. Or a worm. <laughs> a worm. It's, oh, we've got all the good words. It needs a little bit at the sides there. Can we see? Ladies and gents, if you look at the overhead camera here and here. Gonna wipe over that with the cleanup solution now and then we can file. So I'm just gonna file this now, get it into shape, do my side walls, skip around that cuticle area. Now if you struggle with acrylic, um then I would get definitely give gel a go because especially if you struggle with acrylic around the cuticle area, which is a common place for people to struggle um you know give gel a go and see if that's going to be the one for you there are lots of different systems out there that you'll favor i favor acrylic not gonna lie mm -hmm. Let's give it a buff. So, Adam, can you see why I did that in gel polish around the edge? Can you see that tiny, thin, little white border it gives it? Because gel polish is a lot thinner. It will give you that thin, little, tiny... So it's like it's got a little shadow to it. Yeah, it just adds, it just adds, those little bits just make the difference on a nail, I think. Neatens it, doesn't it? Yeah. Do you remember we did the white line smile line? Oh, and we did that shad the shadow mm -hmm. French on you. Oh, that was like, yeah. so simple, but just so bloody gorgeous. Yeah. It wouldn't be a Kirsty Mickey nail or Cheryl Walker nail. That was a bit of water. <laughs> she just put water in your mouth. Just got that hard. It went, <laughs> <laughs> you just try and get them extra dry. Yeah, as I was ever saying, it wouldn't be a Kirsty Mickey nail or a Cheryl Walker nail without a bit of bling. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to add a bit of bling. To put them on, we're going to use the um, Crystal Totalis. Oh my God, this is feeling really light, like it's going to run out. <gasps> Please send me more. So I'm going to top coat, so now we've done all our jewels, we're going to top coat, we're going to go around the edge and we're going to go in this little section here as well. And by doing that with the top coat, it will actually seal in the stones even more so.
So I'm just going to finish off with some cuticle oil. See what I mean? Like no, no two nails are the same. They're all a little bit different. Mm. Gel nails for the gel queen. What do you think, gel, gel love queen? Them. Love them. Love them. I mean, they look especially nice with the ring. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> bit of bling yeah, on the ring. That, that, I'm going to shine my nails. But that turquoise has just picked up that flower, hasn't it? Oh, it has stuck yeah. it. Love them. Oh, it's been a while. It's been a while since you've had big long nails. Yeah. How are you going to cope tomorrow? With all those okay. clients. They're using his tweezers. Pick up our, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, they're good for when you're cooking, aren't they? I think long yes. nails. You don't, yeah. need, don't need tongs Turn the bacon. anymore. Yeah, oh, absolutely brilliant gosh. for that. Picking up no, no lid wipes and all that. There you are. So there you are, guys. I hope you've enjoyed nice. this video. Don't forget to check us out on Facebook and Instagram. Everything I've used today will be listed below. If you've made it to the end, thank you very much for following us and subscribing and all that shebang. And I'll see you in the next video. Ta-ra,